So this is going on with a friend of mine right now, and I will tell you afterwards what I advised him, but I'd love to know what you say. Okay. Okay? He just moved into a brand new apartment in the same complex that he's been living for the past few years. And let me say that where he lives is rent stabilized, so everybody, no one pays a lot of rent. It's not like he's paying $2,000 a month. He's living in a very nice area of Manhattan, Mm -hmm. and he's paying about, he's paying $770, actually. I know his rent. Right. (laughs) So the way it usually works, he does, you know how they all have those pay systems that they just deduct it out of your account every single month. Mm -hmm. So since he's in a different apartment and moved out of the place that he was that was actually more expensive, they gave him that money back. And what he's noticed that instead of deducting the rent, they just keep giving him money back. And he's already lived there. He moved in in May. And he has not paid rent yet. They haven't taken any of the money out at all. They keep giving him money back for the difference because that's what they said they would do. Mm -hmm. So every month he gets like $220 in his account, but they don't take the $770 out. So he asked me, you know, am I going to get into legal issues moving forward? They're going to figure this out and catch up. But on the other hand, it's not my responsibility. Somebody in that office is screwing up. There's there's somebody that is just not doing their job well. Mm-hmm. So should I go to the office and say, or call the office and say, listen, somebody there is not charging me properly, or should I just let it go? Because I, why should I tell other people how to do their jobs? Yeah, I don't think it's a, a person per se. I think it's a, a computer glitch. You know, I'm not going to call up and fix the glitch i'm not i'm not that guy i'm gonna see how long it goes on for right so i think he should do the same thing don't call don't get involved don't fix the glitch and if they fix the glitch at some point then you'll just start paying rent again right and say well because he's not actually paying them they're taking it out of his account right i mean he can say that he doesn't check his account every not everybody checks their account every month right to see what's been taken out, what hasn't been. But they usually send an email and say, you know, hey, by the way, this is what we're we're deducting and we're doing it on the 15th. And they just, they usually let you know ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Here's what, here's what I advised him. Okay. I said, don't do anything. Don't say anything. It's not your responsibility to fix that glitch. But if they do, they're coming after you for the rent. So every month, take 770 and put it in a savings account. That way you can say, I've been meaning to pay the rent. I have it saved for you. That way, if they do come after you, you have the money. You show that you have been saving it. You're just waiting for them and their accounting to catch up because Mm -hmm. it might one day and then you will owe for the past 10 months and then where are you getting $7,000 from, you know? Yeah, but they'll let you slide to get caught up because they don't, they know you don't have that kind of Are you insane? These are New York landlords. They don't let you slide. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they they haven't fixed the glitch. So, you know, maybe they, they never will fix the glitch. He better never move again because then they're going to find out. I told him if, if they call you play dumb and say, Oh, I didn't realize you weren't taking the money out and then say, okay, I'll, I'll pay you. Don't tell them that you've been saving it, but you know, say i'll just i'll pay you in full and and just pay them and be done with it because no way are you finding a rent stabilized apartment for 770 dollars in this city 